Ancient Egyptian religion and philosophy explain how did the ancient Egyptians pray? In this video of the series, we shall be delving into the ancient Egyptian and African thought on prayer, as well as giving a prayer ritual from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Why prayer? Uh, well, to be honest, I've received quite a lot of questions in my inbox um, asking me about African religion and spirituality. How do you pray? How do you fast? How do you meditate? When should we do this? How do we give libations and so forth? Um, so in this series of videos, I'm going to give you some short, succinct answers uh, pertaining to African religion and philosophy. Um, so the first one here now is prayer. Um, what is prayer? Well, from the English definition, prayer is to ask the beg to plea uh, to a particular entity for some type of sustenance or some type of reprieve. Um, so now let's go back into the African, West African, or even the ancient Egyptian conceptualization of prayer. And um, the ancient Egyptians had various words for prayer. We have uh, nehi, we have uh, dua. Now when we're talking about dua, dua is a form of prayer, it's the call out is to give adoration uh, to a being to an entity to a spirit force etc so we're gonna go into that into detail today and speak about it and we're also gonna actually give you a prayer from the ancient Egyptian book of the dead if you haven't been uh, keeping up with the videos that's been put forward there is a video that should be popping up right here which is the 42 laws of Ma'at um, from the book of the dead from the papyrus of Annie so hopefully throughout these series of videos I'm gonna give you some uh, clips from the ancient Egyptian book of the dead or some uh, reference points from the ancient Egyptian book of the dead so you can kind of work through it and uh, kind of build a, a self-reliant um, self-sufficient um, spiritual system based around it Now, African prayers generally include praise, thanksgiving, uh, declaration of the general affairs of what's going on in this particular time, why they're praying, and also requests. Now, from an African standpoint, an African point of view, Egyptian comedic point of viewpoint, um, there was literally no beating around the bush. You would tell, you know, the deities, the supreme forces, the energies, the spirits, exactly what you wanted. Usually, it's, it's a process of bargaining off. I'm actually vocalizing um, thanksgiving towards you in return for something that I'm asking you for. But usually prayers were actually followed by, followed through with some form of sacrifice. Uh, the sacrifice could literally be uh, food offerings, it can be um, you know what let's say a circumcision it could be a cutting of the hair um, it could be uh, food offerings in terms of meat etc or even alcohol as well so there was various um, you know what things that was negotiated uh, for the prayer to actually come to um, fulfillment now prayers could be done for various things it could be done for good health prosperity wealth uh, making sure that there is no wars or making sure that when wars do happen um, you're properly prepared so now when we're going into our prayer form we need to kind of uh, realize exactly why are we praying what is the purpose of our prayer is it a prayer where we are requesting something from the supreme forces or is it a prayer where you're giving thanks uh, for the gifts that you received uh, through the supreme forces i.e. you're waking up for a brand new day so I'm very uh, thankful for that I am praising uh, the forces that woke me up in the day so this is kind of what we have to come to um, an understanding what is our purpose of praying we should always have our intentions um, on point why are we praying and to what force are we praying to Now, in terms of morning prayers, um, morning prayers are a characteristic trait throughout the whole of Africa, all the way from East Africa to West Africa, from North Africa to South Africa. Um, this phenomenon is 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 
seen throughout um, usually um, it would actually be the elders who actually perform the prayers but it's not only limited to the elders itself um, children to adults were able to perform these prayers male as well as females were able to perform these prayers and these prayers generally take the form of facing the east kneeling down sitting down having your arms crossed, uh, kneeling, standing, uh, there's various positions you can take in actually doing these prayers. Um, I'm actually going to give you a few examples from the Yoruba, from the Igbo, um, to Kenya, to all the different uh, parts of Africa to show that they actually had this um, ritual of morning prayer. Now afterwards, then we're going to go into the ancient Egyptian prayer, see how it's very much similar to the rest of Africa in general, and uh, we're going to go into the Medoneta itself. So here's a prayer from the Pygmies in Zaire. Uh, their deity was actually called uh, Kumvu'um and uh, is very much similar actually to a biblical prayer. But here it goes. Um, in the beginning was Kumvu'um. Today is Kumvu'um. Tomorrow will be Kumvu'um. Who can make an image of Kumvu'um? He has no body. He is a word which comes out of your mouth. That word, it is no more. It is past and still it lives. So is Kumvu'um. So then again, we had the prayers from the uh, Igbos in southern Nigeria. Igbo Kwenu. Hey. All right. And uh, their prayer was to Chuku, or the sun of the morning, or the sun that's in the east. And um, it says, Oh, sun of the morning, sun of, of the evening, let me be freed from danger today. Now, this prayer is coming straight out of Kenya from the Luaya. Uh, people addressing the sun in the morning um, is so very much similar to a Kemetic uh, traditional prayer and it goes a bit something like this O sun as you rise in the east through God's leadership wash away all the evils I have thought of throughout the night bless me so that my enemies will not kill me and my family guide me through hard work O God give me mercy upon our children who are suffering Bring riches today as the sun rises. Bring all fortunes to me today. So as we can see, these are the forms of African prayers uh, throughout the continent. But now let's move into, you know, what, what most people are most familiar with and what really want to know is the Kemetic prayers. Um, I'm actually going to read you out the English version of the Kemetic prayer and then we can go in depth into the uh, Meduneta or the hieroglyphs. Uh, I know a lot of you would love to see the hieroglyphs being read out. Okay, so here we go. Praise be to Ra as he riseth in the eastern horizon of the heavens. Homage to you who has come as a manifestation, manifesting as the creator of the Nutaru. You rise and shine, making bright to your mother. You are crowned as ruler of the Nutaru. The great mother Nut makes homage to you with both her arms outstretched. The man who receives you with satisfaction, Ma'at embraces you at the two seasons. And uh, this particular uh, dua, or prayer or adoration is actually from uh, the papyrus of Ani or the Sabaiit Anu. So, and we're actually going to go into the Medoneta now and read it. Um, but as you can see, it was very much similar to, um, you know, the Ibo prayer, where um, it's, it's speaking to the sun as it rises in the east, and the Kenyan prayer as it's speaking to the sun as it rises in the east as well. So most of um, the African uh, traditions had a concept of God being a symbol or the symbol of God being the sun as it rises um, in the east as well, where knowledge begins. Here is the actual um, Meduneta or Egyptian reading, hieroglyphic reading. Duara, Kheft Ubenuf, Ma'achet, Abdet, Anat Put, Jeruf, Anej Haruk, Ita Ma Hepera, Hepera Ma Kemam, Necheru, Hauk, Ubenuk, Pesej Mut Uk, Ha, Tama Su Necheru, Arinuk Mut Nut Aoi, Usma Arit Nini, Sesheptu Manu Ma Hotep, Hepetu Maat. Ri Terra. Again, this is the Sebaiit Anui, um, the papyrus of Ani. Uh, most people would be in, uh, familiar with as we just open up the very first, um, when we open up the actual papyrus of Ani, this is one of the very, this is literally the very first um, image that we are greeted with and the very first um, lines 
and this is the opening or coming out forth from the day coming out from the night into the day now how can we put this as a day-to-day -day, uh, rituals for ourselves um, you know what most of us may be coming from a Christian or an Islamic or one of the three monotheistic religions uh, that kind of uh, framework or background and uh, we're used to actually doing a morning prayer whether it's our father's prayer our father what in heaven hallowed be thy name or whether it is a muslim prayer bismillah etc 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 so we are familiar um, or even the Barakh Adonai um, prayer as well in the Hebrew so we're all kind of familiar with doing morning prayers and doing morning rituals um, so but if you're coming from an African perspective or you're coming from you know those three religions and you want to get involved with the African religion then the spirituality that's practically the same concept of uh, doing a morning ritual prayer um, so in terms of position wise you might be asking where do we face and so forth face whichever direction is, is most comfortable with you uh, choose a nice clean place where you can perform your prayers as well uh, we can speak about ablution and how we washed ourselves and did uh, water offerings that could come later on but um, in terms of a modern context I think you know the, the most fundamental thing to do is when you wake up in the morning is to give thanks is to give praise uh, to whichever force you are thankful for whether it is still um, you know Yahweh whether it's um, Adonai whether it is Allah um, whoever your your deity is whoever your Rab your sustainer is give praise and give thanks to it um, you know you can speak from you know if you're Ibo you can call on your deity call on uh, Chuku Chukuma Chuku uh, chi, whichever deity you choose to call upon, call upon it. Um, you know, whether you are your Ghanaian tree, uh, Jinyame, whichever deity you want to choose to call upon, call upon it. Whichever you feel comfortable with. You want to speak upon the comedic deities, um, call upon those deities. Because I think the most fundamental thing is to wake up, wake up in the morning and to be thankful. Um, have that attitude of gratitude as you wake up in the morning be thankful be happy and I think that happiness and that gratitude will kind of radiate um, throughout the rest of your day it kind of sets the tone for your day you're happy you're thankful and much more positive energy much more grateful and and, and and uh, how can I say praiseworthy energy will be attracted to you from the outset of the day um, so definitely I would say put this into practice uh, give thanks for whatever you're thankful for for your day to start off correctly and if you want to ask the deity for something at the end of it um, let that be your personal dua let that be your personal call out your personal prayer you know what do you want for the day so speak to that most high speak to that deity that's close to your heart and ask it for something ask it for your day to unfold in a particular way ask it for prolonged health ask it for prosperity ask it to make the cells you need to make for the day um, the most fundamental thing is just start off your day with the attitude of gratitude and being aware and meditative and conscious of the things that allowed you to wake up and continue in a bright happy and harmonious um, day thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video please share it like crazy if you're new to the channel as well uh, just hit the subscribe button down below we've got plenty of videos for you to watch uh, you can actually kind of check me out on the side just over there uh, there's a couple of videos of me and others um, and if you want to actually become a titans tv patreon and receive your free speakers corner series dvd um, the links are down below just sign up to patreon uh, and become our supporter Thanks.